welcome to my channel I just wanted to show you my last border design I ended up zentangling all in it and stuff if you haven't seen this border design I will link the border design playlist right here in the top of the screen so you know you could use these for other things so I just thought I'd show this with Halloween coming up and stuff that I made this with the border designs that I created in my last video so uh, let's get started Okay, so this is the first design, a cute little mousy, and what was I going to say? I already forget. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, uh, you know, I'm just drawing, drawing a border around in black. I'm using Bic markers today, and I think for the pink ears, I end up using a uh, Crayola marker for around the little ears of the doodle of the mouse, but I'm throwing that marker out it was drying up and giving me a lot of grief so you'll see me fighting with it in a minute here so this is is pretty self-explanatory and I decided for around the border design to pick red which there I'm using a Crayola marker and then I'm going to use like an aqua color like an aqua it's kind of the color of my walls in my house and these two colors are just they've been calling out to me they're so beautiful together I think I will, I'm going to draw probably a Zentangle next in those two colors. They're just so pretty. There it is. See that color? And it doesn't look as good as I'm as I'm looking at this right now as it does in person. The aqua and red look really good together, I think. So just stick with me as I'm coloring around the border because we will get to the, the face of the mouse here in a second. And uh, let me know what you guys think of this one. Or, or leave me a comment below and let me know which which is your favorite so I know you know what you guys really like so I'd appreciate if you leave me a comment and let me know which one you like okay this is the second design we're gonna do today this border design has uh, some pretty pastel colors I can't say enough about these big pens I like how they they color uh, without leaving streaks. Uh, they're great. I'll leave a link in the description box through Amazon for these pens if you want to check them out. But they're really good for border design. And these are this is like a doodle type of borders. This probably would be good for like planners or, or whatever. I have a daughter who uh, doesn't live in the same city as me, so I'm not going to use these for school projects. But I thought, well, I could write her some snail mail letters with some of these, you know, and maybe I'll draw like I showed you in the beginning of the video. Maybe I'll do some Zentangle with some of these as well. So this is kind of a good idea for stationery, really, even if you're not into making this for, you know, project file designs or school projects and stuff. These could still be useful for, you know, whatever your doodling heart desires, I guess. So pink and green, pink and green. I had a friend who used to love that combination, so that's what made me think of that today. I usually don't compare pink and green together, but it does go. I think it turned out. What do you guys think? Well, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.